All right, thank you for that breaking news this morning. Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hogsett just finishing his outline for his plan for the Marion County area moving forward with COVID-19. Jessica Hayes was in on the call. She joins us live summarizing what she heard. Jess. Hey, Angela, good morning. Yeah, there's a lot of new information to get to here. I'm just going to get right to the notes. We're learning um, some changes that are underway, especially if you have kids that go to school in Marion County. That's largely what Mayor Hogsett and Dr. Virginia Kane talked about. So what they said was after the July 4th holiday, they saw an increase in newly confirmed cases through this past Monday. So what their plan is right now for elementary students, uh, they will go to school in person. They say those ages have fewer confirmed cases and a lower rate of passing the virus. This is all data driven. That is what the data is showing. For middle and high school students, though, that is different. For those age students, they want a hybrid of in-person and online. And to move any of these stages, you've got to stay there for at least two weeks. So this will be the plan for at least the first two weeks. So what does that mean? What does that hybrid look like? Well, what they want is 50% capacity, no more than 50% capacity in the building. So they want to stagger that basically a hybrid of in-person and at home or online learning in the school. So um, we're hoping to get more details on exactly what that looks like. But again, to change out of that level, you've got to be there for at least two weeks. No assemblies are allowed. Now, a lot of people are asking about sports. What will sports look like for schools this fall? They touched on that briefly. They said schools um, sports will follow the IHSAA guidelines. We should learn that within the next two to three weeks. So we didn't get a lot of direction there. Mayor Hogsett says all students age eight or over are required to wear masks. And of course, all of this information could change as we learn more about the virus. And guys, just this week, both Dr. Deborah Burks and Dr. Anthony Fauci from the President's Coronavirus Task Force warned about outbreaks brewing in states. They specifically included Indiana in this and Marion County's numbers are the highest in the state. Let's look closer at those numbers. Right now, Marion County has 14,096 positive cases, 714 deaths. Since March, of the people tested in Marion County, 12% are positive. And for the most recent seven day period, that's 8.9%. So this press conference still underway right now. We did hear the first question asked by our own Russ McQuaid. Um, we learned from that Dr. Kane said that the protest, she does not believe the protests here in Indianapolis caused an increase in cases. She also said that contact tracing is 80% successful. So if you get a call from one of those contact tracers, they really need to hear back from you. That's another way to stem the flow of this and see where this is going. A lot more on this. We'll have it for you at fox59.com and of course right here on First at Four. Angela. Yeah, Jess, you did mention IHSA too and quickly wanted to say they did come out yesterday saying at this point high school sports for the fall will go on as planned as of now because they just made that announcement yesterday afternoon. Um, July 31st is some of the you know golf practices. I know um, my daughter's been at volleyball practice every day of the week. So as of right now, and again, that could change any hour at, at any moment. As for the governor, he says because of the rise in case numbers and the state's positivity rate, Indiana will not move forward either in its reopening plan for at least another month. Governor Holcomb and state health leaders hope another month of restrictions will help to slow the spread of coronavirus. And they did again say with everyone wearing a mask, they are hoping that that will bring the numbers down. Indiana will stay in the stage 4.5 of this reopening plan until August 27th. That means businesses will stay at their current capacities and social gatherings are capped at 250 people.